Hi. So, hi guys. Um, I don't want to make this into a normal thing where I make videos for about like stuff that I build and stuff. It's not very usual for me. I usually just post stuff that I make, but I need to make an exception because uh, the other day, approximately last Thursday or Tuesday, I think it was Thursday, um, me and my boyfriend, we went to go check out some apartments because, you know, we're trying to move out and stuff. And we found this ad on this street that we were following and it was a very uh, kind of dodgy street in a way. And uh, so, you know, but you know, we're on our budget, so we have to try to compromise on, you know, our safety, I guess. <laughs> so, basically, um, this is a simulation of what the house looks like, okay? Like, this story that I'm about to tell you might shock you and, you know, might be fucking crazy. Oh, or maybe you guys will think, you know, I'm being a little shit and I'm being, uh... I'm not sure what the word is, but, you know, I'm not doing this right because you're probably thinking, oh my god, an apartment in New York is, like, a lot smaller and less shit for a lot more money, but this is in New York, okay? We don't live in New York. This is Puerto Rico, and uh, apartments like this uh, run really cheap, and, uh, yeah, so basically, let's dig into the story. Um, so, first of all, when we got here, we uh, got really super immensely fucking lost and it was it was like we could not find the place because i had completely forgotten where the place was so we were just following a trail <coughs> sorry <coughs> so basically we were following a trail of wait a second there are so many children in this park right now what the fuck why are there so many children at the park right now is, is like, there's legit two children in each fucking jungle gym. I, I just made this place. This is a whole new uh, world. I've never... I, I made a new character, too, uh, just for the purpose of this video. I thought she was super cute, too. She's like an albino baby girl, and I love her to death. And uh, I might use her later for something. So, uh, basically... First thing, first off we get off, you know, we are walk here, there's a guy throwing out the trash and uh, we asked him like, hey, we're here for the apartment and then this dodgy ass uh, old guy comes out of his car right here. There was, we had to park on the other end of the street too, we couldn't even park on this end of the street, like in front of the house. We had to park so far away, we had to park like a whole two blocks away because there were absolutely no parking spots around the area and it was extremely annoying. So when we responded to the thing, you know, it said this is a studio apartment, 300 bucks, 330 bucks for the one he said that had more windows while the second one didn't have as many windows and it would be just 300. So I'm thinking, okay, 300 or 330 with water, light, a stove, and a fridge sounds amazing. We can make this work, you know, it'll work. So we go in and immediately I get this dodgy ass feeling because right here are we going up these fucking stairs which are supposed to go up here too towards the uh this area but i couldn't find a way to make the stairs do that because it seems like shit like there's this little um i wish i could show you <laughs> i don't know if i can there's yeah there's this little door right here and uh i think there was a baby in there crying or something and uh it was just really unnerving just listening to that for some reason like when you sign up for an apartment, you, you aren't thinking, oh my god, there's going to be children crying at all times next door. Because believe it or not, me living in the suburbs uh, with my mom, uh, you barely hear any children, any anything. It's very, very quiet. So, you know, now that I want to move to the city, it, like I'm thinking, is it really worth it, you know? So, first off the bat, there are so many apartments in the area, you know, we see these two houses, but I believe these two houses are taken, and then, you know, you have these, uh, there, I think, if I'm not mistaken, there were about four, uh, six apartments on this area, it's just like here, but I couldn't see much, and I can't remember, so the only thing I remember is the ones that we saw, so, okay, so, we're gonna go to the first apartment first, let me just check, okay, I need to show you the first apartment, so, Straight off the bat, he opens the door, and the first thing that we see is, uh, <laughs> I gotta show you a bit. 
Like, right off the bat, he opens this door. There's a window right here, right? There's, like, uh, there, the windows aren't actually like this. They're more, like, horizontal or... I think it's horizontal the way you say it. I think this is horizontal. I'm not sure. I think it's vertical. So, uh, basically, they're the opposite of what these windows are. But I couldn't find a, a replica. So, the first thing when we walk into what we see is this, right? We see this tiny tiny little place absolutely there is like nothing here everything looks really dirty too it's very dark there isn't any light and you know the fridge was extremely small that is a fridge it looks like a speaker but it's a fridge it's like a, a mini fridge and the stove was really sm the, the, the stove actually was smaller than this it was about half the size which we were fine with it's the fact that it was so old and fucked up that kind of messed with us and then you have this beautiful window here and this like i don't understand why you're charging me 30 bucks for this window like is this window worth 30 bucks to you like how oh yeah like totally right because i'm gonna be here for the view which by the way there was no view throughout those windows because there was another building here so the entire thing was just a big fucking like what? Like, I legit just wanted to choke the man. We walked in, and I immediately just look at the place, and I didn't even look at my boyfriend. I just, I just looked at the place, and then I went into the bathroom. And the bathroom was legit the smallest piece of shit thing I've ever seen. I mean, me and Dave, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not, like, uh, me and Dave are very big people, you know? He, he weighs, I weigh like 200 something, he weighs like uh, 200 something himself too, so it's like we're two big ass, fat ass people. So we're not gonna fit in that tiny little fucking uh, shower that he had that was super close to the toilet. And immediately I walked in, I walk out, we say absolutely nothing. Like we say absolutely nothing to him we walk the fuck out and i look at dave and dave just says no he doesn't even like i think he was cranky because he didn't eat anything he was hungry but he didn't like even said no he just legit rolled his eyes and said no so at this point i want to be polite i don't want to just run away into the gate because that this is legit shit and uh, I tell them, okay, then can we see the 300 one? You know, we thought, okay, uh, they should be approximately the same size. And, you know, it shouldn't be such a big uh, deal. It's just one window, right? So we go in. And this is, like, legit what we see. Like, actually, it's actually a lot smaller than this. Like, a lot smaller than this. Uh, and this is pretty much what we see. There's this, this bed right here is actually flipped over on the other side it's not even like in the bed form it's flipped over mm -hmm. really weirdly like he was just storing it there so this basically this little room here is basically a fucking storage to him right now and the little kitchen was legit this i am not kidding the kitchen looked like this the fridge and the counters exactly like this i don't know who the fuck was gonna fit in here me and dave just looked at each other like who the fuck is gonna live? Like, maybe one person, you know? If it was just one person looking for somewhere to, you know, have a little, a tiny place for themselves, this is beautiful. This is perfect, you know? Just buy a new fridge, buy a new things, and, like, you know, get, get a nice bed, and, you know, you got yourself a nice place. Uh, like a New York-style fucking studio apartment just for you, and that's fine. Oh, and I want to show you this bathroom. Because it's fucking crazy how uh, this bathroom looks. First of all, there was a shower head right here. Um, and that wall uh, right there. And it disappeared. It's been happening a lot in my game. A lot of shit keeps ha uh, disappearing. So, uh, basically, uh, the bathroom had no sink. And it was extremely tiny. Like I said, me and Dave do not fit in this bathroom. There is no mirror. There is nothing. It's just like a little tiny perceptor's room. Like, I don't think. Oh, look, there it is. Um, what the fuck is this? Like, fucking. That's fucking weird. What the hell? So, yeah, you know, it was a very tiny, tiny, tiny fucking house. It's like. 
this does not work for us. It was really sad to, to be truthful. It scared us a lot. It made us really not want to move out at all, but we knew uh, that one bad experience could not uh, keep us away from trying to find like a, a nice little place. So, you know, we said, thank you so much. And then we walked, uh, <laughs> we walked out and immediately we just looked at each other. We were like, God damn, that place was a fucking dump, right? So I had to pee extremely badly. So we were legit like running towards uh, our car so we could like pee. And then we had like Mexican food to make to make um, each other feel better. Um, yeah, guys, that that's pretty much the story of how I just found the shittiest place to live in for a couple, anyways. Like, bitch, if you're gonna live alone and it's just gonna be you and your hiney, then of course, you know, this place is perfect for you. But to be honest, the place was hella dirty. Everything surrounding the area was dirty. Just because I can't, like, t uh, show you how dirty the place is because this game doesn't do that. But. And this area around here is just like a bunch of bullshit there. It's just a bunch of trash. Uh, this place looks all fucked up and trashy. The stairs were actually half the size. Like, it wasn't like a normal size stairs like these. It's like, you see that black pole in between? And then you cut the stairs in half? That's, that's the stairs that they had, okay? It was a hazard for us. It was a hazard. It was not good. Um, moving anything and everything up there would have been hell. And honestly, I think we made a good choice. I mean, we haven't found a place yet. But uh, here's to hoping that we do. If we do find a place, though, guys, I might make a, like, a cute little uh, video about it. Like, I'll re replace it or replicate it. Uh, it's re replicated. Blah, 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 blah. I'll replicate it, you know, the same way. And I'll, like, show you what it looks like. So, uh... Yeah, <laughs> thanks, I guess, for listening to me talk about this for 12 minutes. Bye.